हेलो एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल आई एम डॉक्टर प्रीति माथुर एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सोलॉजी एस पी सी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज अजमेर सर टुडे आर टॉपिक विल बी इंटरेक्शंस बिटवीन सेल एंड एनवायरमेंट्स पार्ट वन जैसा कि नाम से ही विदित हो रहा है आपको कि आज हम सेल और एनवायरनमेंट के बीच में जो इंटरेक्शन होता है आपस में उसके बारे में थोड़ा डिस्कस करेंगे सो स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग अगेन टू यू ऑल एंड बी ट्यून विद मी सो व्यूअर्स टुडे इन दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी स्लाइड आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट सेल सेल्स एंड हाउ दे इंटरेक्ट विद द एनवायरमेंट the cells actually they are present in the living organisms cell is the basic structure and functional unit of life you can see that uh, i think you all have read about it and you know it very nicely that cell is the smallest functional and structural unit which have a structure and this structure contains very small organelles cell which are called as cell organelles and these are cell organelles they react with the environment now what is environment environment is the all the surrounding atmosphere all the biotic and abiotic factors which are present in the environment they all surround the cell and then they both interact with each other now how they interact this we are going to study in this lecture secondly cells interact with extra cellular material to form defined tissues cells how they interact they interact with the extra cellular extra cellular means outside the cell and there are some materials which are present outside the cell and with those materials the cell it interacts it takes some materials inside Uh, itself through the plasma membrane and then some materials it also exists outside from the plasma membrane so these cells they aggregate together or the group of cells it is defined as tissues what are tissues tissues are groups of cells which forms a different a definite organ so next these interactions are crucial to the formation of epithelial tissue and connective tissue which are crucial for various cellular activities this slide students it is showing about the introduction and in this the cell how the cell mitigation occurs the cell consists of various growth forms sometimes the cell it grows bigger sometimes it makes it uh, only a lone cell it does such a lot of work for the whole human being and then there is cell differentiation differentiation means there are different types of works and the cell it performs various types of functions there is 3d organization of tissues and organs that emerges during embryonic development that is the mitosis and meiosis process in which the cell it divides and redivides and finally it converts into daughter cells now in this slide you can clearly see the overview of cell organization into tissues here the first in this uh, left part of the diagram it shows a dead confined cells in the upper side then there is the epidermis present then there are dividing cells there is basement membrane then there is dermis now here there are some specialized cell cell contacts you can see very clearly here there is a tube going and then the cell it converts into various structures and these various structures they are called as specialized cell substratum contact in the bottom and then these various structures they are called as junctions that are gap junctions tight junctions etc etc now here you can also see the basement membrane reticular fiber proteoglycan 
collagen fiber cell surface receptor integrin and fibroblast there is also presence of elastic fiber in this so all these portions of the cells which i show, which i am showing you in this diagram they interact with the cellular cell and the environment students in this slide you can see the extra cellular space clearly in which the glycocalyx that is cell coat is formed from carbohydrate projections from the plasma membrane outer surface of the plasma membrane you can see it clearly glycocalyx are been shown and their microvilli are present which increase the cell membrane area and this area when it is increased it reacts with the environment in this slide i am telling you about the extra cellular space here in the glycocalyx there is me mediate cell cell and cell substratum interactions then it provide mechanical protection to cells glycocalyx provide me mechanical protection to cells it acts as a barrier to particles moving towards plasma membrane and finally glycocalyx bind important regulatory factors so the glycocalyx part of the cell is very important for the cell because it interacts and also protects the cell and also helps in the movement of the important food materials and other particles to move inside the plasma membrane so students that's all about our today's first part of my lecture i thank you very much for patiently hearing my words and so students we'll continue with the next part in the next portion of my lecture and our topic will be same and i end here and my name again i repeat it that is my name is dr preeti mathur associate professor department of zoology spc government college ajmer so students be tuned thank you